Well, now to a rather unusual legal drama. Two organizations committed to helping children with cancer are squaring off in federal court. And as you can see, they both have the same name, give or take a letter or two. Rod Maloney is live with a the reason. They're at odds. Rod? Well, Kimberly, imagine this. These are two organizations committed to helping these kids doing roughly the same thing. And I use the word roughly uh, very carefully here because they actually do different things. But take a look at the logo. It's Wigs for Kids of Michigan. And then, of course, there is the Wigs for Kids of Ohio. And it's the Ohio organization suing here. These are the before and after pictures. Kids with cancer want to feel normal, and a custom wig certainly helps. Maggie Varney is the dynamo behind the program. The kids get to come here and get service. They come back here when it's prom. They get their hair done for prom. They get their makeup done. They come back here when they need a new wig. Every year their little head size changes so they get a new wig every year. This shows you the rub here. Wigs for Kids with the number has this logo. Wigs for Kids has that logo. Wigs FOR Kids is a national organization, has a national trademark. Wigs number four kids is only trademarked in Michigan. Last year, this cease and desist letter came to Maggie telling her she had to change her organization's name and she refused. If their purpose is to service children, they should be glad that this many more, they don't have to take out of their budget and income because they're supposed to service the whole United States we serviced just Michigan, and we serviced more children in Michigan last year than they did in the whole United States. She and the other organization have coexisted for 14 years. She even has records of the referrals that she sent to the Ohio group. Confusion over a donation and the publicity surrounding a professional wrestler spurred the lawsuit. Maggie doesn't want to think it came because of her success. How can you be successful when you're helping sick and dying children? My success would be that we would close these doors. Well, highly emotional to, to be sure. Now, we reached out to the Ohio organization Wigs for Kids, talked to their, one of their local attorneys on the phone. Uh, they had no comment at this point. We did try and reach the Ohio attorneys. Nobody uh, returned a phone call. But here's the thing. This is going to be filed tomorrow. It's a thick document, but it's going to be asking Judge Nancy Edmonds to dismiss the case. They believe here there is no reason for the suit and no reason why they can't coexist. Reporting live from St. Clair Shores, Rod Maloney, Local 4.